Hey folks, Joseph Isabora here. As we finally came to a close to This Is America, Charlie Brown, the Peanuts Special Miniseries, with the last and final episode, episode 8, that aired on May 23, 1989 on CBS, called The Music of America. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> the Music and Heroes of America. It's an episode where Schroeder along with the boys, are presenting a school pageant about the great American musicians and rock and rollers, only to be interrupted by Lucy and the girls to, to give their report on the American heroes. Stars Aaron Chase as Charlie Brown, Brittany Forden as Sally Brown, Erica Gale as Elizabeth Van Pelt, Curtis Anderson as Schroeder, Hakeem Abdul Samad as Franklin, Marie Cole as Marcy, Jason Mendelson as Peppermint Patty, and Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock, with Desiree Goyette, Clem Clark, and late great Luz Rawls as the vocalists. And of course, uh, Linus doesn't speak in the special. But it does also have the character Adora, as you may have spotted her from a Charlie Brown and Snoopy show. Yeah. Yeah. It's created and written by Charles M. Schultz, and it's directed by Sam Gimes. The episode begins when Schroeder was getting ready to give the most fantastic school report on the music of America. A History of American Musical Artists at the Auditorium of Birchwood School. At first he didn't want to hire Snoopy because he would go completely wild with his antics. But Charlie Brown told him that Snoopy was very upset, in tears, until Schroeder decided to have a change of hearts and let him in. On stage, Schroeder brought his band together with him on the piano, Charlie Brown on the harmonica, trombone, clarinet, saxophone and trumpet, Linus on guitar, trumpet, fife, drums and trombone, pig pan on bass and banjo, Franklin on drums, banjo and later piano, and later on Snoopy on banjo, drums and flute, and of course, Lucy on flute. <laughs> and as we continue, Lucy had came on stage with the girls, interrupting the Schroeder's pageant. Yeah. Pepper and Patty, Marcy and Sally to join in for the school report on Heroes of America. The problem is Schroeder wants to do this pageant on his own without any help and wants her out. So under protest by their teacher, both him and Lucy decided to combine these pageants into one stage. Anyway, Schroeder starts with the American culture of popular music. In 1847, the first composer was Stephen Foster, who gave us famous songs like I Dream a Genie with the light brown hair. <laughs> no, not the TV show I Dream a Genie, but I wouldn't be surprised if I was inspired by it. And the song, Old Susanna. He grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and was influenced by black churches and minstrel shows. In fact, when gold was discovered in California in 1848, this is where Lucy continues, thousands of people around the world had came to California gold country the song Old Susanna was played and as she continues that same year in Seneca, New York, this is where she talks about the first campaign of women's rights to vote. Susan B. Anthony was an advocator and a feminist who fought out for women's equal rights and voting rights. It only took them 72 years to fight 
before 1920 when they won the right. Also includes other woman heroes of America like Clara Barton, a nurse for the Civil War who became the founder of American Red Cross. Helen Keller as an advocate for the disabilities and even Amelia Earhart, the first world famous woman aviator from the 1930s. Now back to Schroeder, he explains about the fight songs of the 1700s during the War of Independence. And the songs that were played during the battlefield called Yankee Doodle Dandy. In 1885, an American professor, Catherine Lee Bates, uh, with the help of Samuel Ward, came up with a song that started out as a poem called America the Beautiful, which turned out to be the most treasured songs of all time for the entire nation. John Philip Sousa, the famous marching king of America, had wrote the most famous song, Stars and Stripes Forever. George M. Cohen, the father of musical comedies, who wrote songs like Your Grand Old Flag and Give My Regards to Broadway, Cut the Spirit of the New Century of America. In 1904, he wrote the song as a Nothing Can Stop Me Now attitude, I Am a Yankee Doodle Dandy. At the end of the Civil War, many immigrants from around the world had looked at America as a land of freedom and opportunities. Millions, including Europeans, that came to the country, but later suffered from terrible working and living conditions until laws and labor unions had came to the rescue. While many of them had brought creativity to the new land and become a worldwide celebrities, such as the famous composer Irving Berlin, he was born in Russia in 1888, four years before moving with his family to America for extreme poverty, before he became a composer writing over 1,500 songs, including God Bless America, and the founder of Black Musicians of Ragtime with the song Alexander's Ragtime Band. Finally, Franklin covers the blues, jazz, and rock and roll, well, sort of, as well as black heroes going back in time with slavery, the people who were hired by property leaders that lasted in 245 years in America since the first slaves came to Jamestown, Virginia in 1620. When slavery was abolished in 1865, there were four million slaves and later sung spiritual songs like Nobody Knows the Trouble I've Seen. While working in the fields, praying for a better life for them. Before and after the Civil War, the spiritual songs would become a foundation for black churches and preachers across the nation. As it follows are Booker T. Washington, scientist George Washington Carver, who invented peanut butter, yeah, with peanuts, along with cotton and even potatoes. W.E.B. Du Bois, who founded the National Association for the Abandonment of Colored People in 1909, and civil rights activist Martin Luther King, Jr. As the United States passed between 19th and 20th century, segregation had replaced slavery for blacks in their communities that created a strong impact for spirituals and citizens. The music, gospel, jazz, and ragtime will be contributed. And the blues where people are feeling sad, depressed, and unhappy, so eventually will become the most American musical forms to sing, play, and getting rid of the blues. Composer W.C. Haney came up with songs like St. Louis Blues and Memphis Blues in 1914 and 1915. Soon there are jazz players that are played by both black and white musicians. But by the 1960s, during the Vietnam War, 
that's where we have Presidents John F. Kennedy and civil rights activist Martin Luther King, which sadly, both of them have been assassinated. There was a song called, Where Have All the Flowers Gone? And after the show was over, they forgot the topic on rock and roll. With the moment, yeah, the Elvis song, Hound Dog, as Snippy was dancing along with the band. But, that's what we explain at the end when Charlie Brown explains his favorite melody. And it turns out to be Linus and Lucy. Yep, the theme song for the, for the Peanuts specials and shows and movies by Ben Scowaldi. This is definitely the most fitting tribute of American musicians and heroes alike. And it really shows how they fight hard, trying to bring peace in the world, and working together as a team. And it sure brings history back to its place for America. And this is a very good episode, no doubt about it. Um, always the funny moments, you know, with, with Schroeder and, and Lucy, you know, trying to put the, the pageant in one place. You know, like, the, even though this was supposed to be Schroeder's concert from the beginning. Yeah, and it just leads to a lot of that. <laughs> and, of course, moments where, where Lucy had to replace... Um, the Beethoven's bus with the Susan B. Anthony bus, and then <laughs> which Schroeder had to <laughs> had to throw her, her bus out of the way, or when Schroeder was being annoyed by Lucy's antics, you know, just when she interrupts um, his pageant, and so there's times when <laughs> when Schroeder was getting so mad, and then. When Lucy was on top of his piano, <laughs> he pulled it away, and and Lucy just slid out, just slide out of there, so he can give his uh, his next uh, scene here. <laughs> but of course, he he wants to make this uh, pageant more important and not mess up, because he want to be able to get an A on his report. And he doesn't want to deal with Snoopy's uh, wild antics either. You know, kind of like when Sally had to deal with it when she was giving her report on the Great Inventors. Yeah. Um, and this is really interesting too because they really show um, a lot of great topics on on the musicians and how they were and how they came to be. And, you know, the, the songs of jazz and the blues and rock and roll. Could have been more of that. I, I wish that was in, in place of the topics. But it also brings in a lot of history about what was going on with slavery and, you know, and women's rights and all of that that came to play. And of course, the Vietnam War everything that was happening in the country with so even civil war so they had to fight for freedom and justice and everything and of course I always love those moments too where there was uh, an interesting one where they actually show uh, Adora with her cap Beanie, uh, and there was like um, a gusty wind, you know, where it blew all these leaves. Uh, you can even see like uh, you could just see a man on the bus stop, with, you know, reading a newspaper, and then just and then it blows. It actually blows Adora's uh, beanie cap. So now we know that she actually has hair. <laughs> it's a little, really long and it goes straight into the stage you know where Franklin was playing Schroeder's piano to that tune that was really uh, 
Interesting. Yeah, Linus didn't speak um, in the special, and neither was um, Pit Pan. But hey, they were there. And the fact that the band played together with different songs to, to mix in with the pageant. Yeah. And all these wonderful songs that they did a topic on, such as Alexander's Ragtime Band. They come over here, come here, Alexander's Ragtime Band. Come here, come over there. It's the best rap time of yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> and then the, the song Nobody Knows the Trouble I've Seen that I believe was sung by uh, Lou Rawls. The late, great Lou Rawls. I mean, he's very good. He's a great uh, jazz musician. Um, he, they even had... Um, the song The World of the Flowers Have Gone by Desiree Goyer did, did a great job with that song to focus on the era of, of the Vietnam War that was happening. And of course, we couldn't forget at the end where, where Charlie Brown, along with Pepper and Patty, Snoopy, Sally, you and Marcy, you know, dancing to uh, Yankee Doodle Dandy. And of course, all the moments with Snoopy, you know, when he was dancing, wearing the the American hat, of Yankee Doodle Dandy, does all these dance moves and everything. And of course, Hound Dog. <laughs> yeah, very good special. Now, I'm going to give my final thoughts on the special mini-series of This is America, Charlie Brown that's going to follow up um, a little later so anyway that's the music and heroes of America I'm Joseph A. Sabora and I'll see you later Bye